get Sam to look into it right now. Sam, check the station alerts. Make that the priority if you can. Station alerts online. Oh, there's a lot of alerts. Everything is red. Coolant network. High priority. Crew tracker sensors. High priority. Camera error. High priority. Camera error. Okay. Mm. Can I select the specific one or... Ah. The cameras in EAS-10 are failing to initialize. Alright, I'll get that fixed for you now. We all good? EAS-10, back online. All right, good, good. Uh, next step. Cameras in EAS-12 have failed to initialize. We would have lost the connection when we jettisoned the module. Nothing we can do about it now. Right, that's the module that disconnected. The coolant network is reporting multiple errors. Recommend investigation. That could give us problems later on. Have a look at the network hub, please, Sam. Hey, the other one is okay. Network hub? Did you want me back here? Maybe not? Fix the coolant network in UN3. UN3. Mmm! So EAS is European American. Yeah, space agency. That's what we had access to, and we're slowly making our way to the other countries. UN3. UN3 is here. I can hear you in there, Sam. The door is locked down, and I think there is an override active. Something atmospheric? Coolant network node. We got that going. There is a CN arm. Might as well get that. We gotta slowly get these systems back to us one by one. Crew tracking sensor. With this, we can find May. Currently unavailable though, because we gotta fix the cooling network first. There's a laptop. Alright. Something atmospheric here? Another node? Hey, there's some kind of code on the side. I wonder if we need it later on. What was that? Network hub. Here we go. Hub controller operations locked. No resets required. Each node must be readied via schematic. So we have to find the schematic then, huh? Until then, the hub controller operations will be locked. Right, so we did already connect to the nodes. Yeah, but do we need to find the schematic first? There is one right here. We don't have the schematic. Hmm. We have to look around the room a little bit more to find it. I would imagine that's sort of the case for astronauts too, because there's so many procedures, so it's always constantly like, oh, we gotta find the documentation and the procedures for how to do this. Cool and network schematic! Here we go. Wow, it's handwritten and we're missing half of it. So that's wonderful. Mmm, we can do configuration 2 right now for adapter 186. 
We can also do it for adapter 531. 186. 186. Let's find that one. I think we came across it earlier. I want to look at this book here, but um, but I can't really access it. Is this 186? Yes, it is. This one we can do. No, we do have it. We do have it. Uh, how do I... Oh, I'm not allowed to do it. Unless if I find the other part. Okay. I guess we'll just have to find it then. Gotta look around. If half of it is on the wall, would the other half be floating around somewhere? Power caddy. Oh, okay. Hey Sam, message for Emma. Hey, it's me. Good news is Jim finally pulled me off USES reactor tests as Houston want the EFR on standby tomorrow. So, out of nowhere, the captain gave us a window between shifts, meaning we get to be awake at the same time for once. New restaurant just opened called EAS 12. Food is terrible, but it's got a great view. See you there at 100? I'd say let's hang out at your bunk, but it's a tight fit, and that woman who sleeps opposite keeps rolling her eyes. See you later, Em. Message ends, Sam. Thanks. Date night. Hmm, I feel like Emma has been bringing up Josh a lot, so maybe Josh is someone important to her. Coolant network schematic. Are you kidding me? I was looking for it on the wall, but it's on the computer. The second half. Okay, now we can combine it. Yes, yes! It's all starting to make sense now. We go back to the memory core and we combine this alongside these here. They already know, like, yeah, this one. Oh, no, 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 that's the audio log. The fragments I'm looking for are. Cool and network schematic. And cool and network schematic. There we go. Now we got it. Okay. Back here then. This one over here that we can look at is 726. 726, which corresponds to configuration 3. Oh my god, it just had to be cut right in the middle there, too. Okay, it's like starting from five rows, right in the middle. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Here. Across. Down. Across. Down. Across. Down. Down. Yes. Thank you. Now, for the other ones... This one is... 186. 186 means... Configuration 2. To write down 4. I can see the light in here flashing. It's checking the system again. Whatever you're doing, keep going. Thank you. Man, this is hard work. For the schematics, I think it's easier if I just take a picture on my phone and look at it <laughs> while I'm trying to do this. Like I said, being an AI is hard. Hold on. This one is... What's the number? I can't see the number. But based on this, we can tell, right? Yeah, it's 490. Four ninety would correspond to connection four, which is a straight line starting from four right, three down. Here. One, two, three, four, five. Six. 
No, it's the other way around. One, two, three, four, five, six. Does that mean that now we can activate the hub? Yeah, here we go. When all nodes are ready, start each node and confirm. Then, initiate hub controller and confirm. Confirm. Start. Coolant. Yeah, look at how we have to do this individually. It's a very computery thing, isn't it? Initiate hub controller and confirm. Good job, Sam. That'll allow us or anyone else access to the Universal Modules 3 and 4 as well as the Shenzo arm. Still not opening. The lockdown hasn't lifted. Now saying something about contact points. Emma? We had the same problem on the EAS arm. I think whatever moved us to Saturn caused us to shake. Wait, what? Saturn? Yeah. Sorry, I should have mentioned that. I'd say it's a long story, but all I know is that Sam thinks he brought us here. Shit! Saturn? I mean... Christ, I don't know where to begin. Look, I'll, I'll head outside and try to get this sorted. I still have my suit and plenty of O2. Be careful, May. I'll be fine, Emma, don't worry. You better be. You're the only person we know that's alive here so far. Do we now have access to the Shenzhou arm? CN3? CN2, CN1. Yes. I guess we can just connect this. There's a power caddy here. There we go. Message for the Chinese Climate Initiative via Houston, Sam. Elsa Yang on board observation here. I'm leaving an overnight data drop on your system, which should provide the final readings for analysis and presentation at the Beijing Climate Congress next month. I said before, but it bears repeating. If any unexpected delegates sign up, I can make myself available for translation duties. The only language I get to use up here is English, and I need to keep the wheel spinning. Yeah, so there are Chinese astronauts here as well as Russian astronauts and English astronauts. Is that her? Elsa Yang? Here we go. Camera. That says crew member. Leftovers? Like surplus maybe? Oh, what is that? One nine eight six. I can't zoom in further, unfortunately. What happened to the people here? May, why are you the only person that we know of that's here? When you look at the walls and stuff, it kind of feels like a padded room. Okay. Just trying to get a look around the place before we get out of here. No. Connection point. Hull contact, I guess you would call it, like they said earlier. Okay. You know that location back in the European American arm? I think there was a computer that I connected to, but I didn't turn on the power caddy in EAS-10. Oh my god, that scared me. Uh, was it this laptop here, or...? No, it was this one. So all I gotta do is turn this on, huh? EMU suit information. 
a diagram detailing the various parts of an EMU, extravehicular mobility unit, suit. Basically an astronaut suit. Message to crew, station doctor here. I've run weeklies on Josh, Jim, and May, but still need Staz and Ailsa for bloods and gym time. If anyone's got some actual bioscience for me to do, then throw it down my way. Directives from Houston have run dry. Sometimes I wonder why they sent me. Oh, Dr. Fisher is an actual doctor. I thought she was like a PhD doctor. Well, it's good that we figure that out. Okay. What do we want to do now? Fix high priority station alerts. There was one more, right? Mm, but I do want to see where Emma is right now. Or... She's here. What about May? May... We don't really know. Crew tracker sensors. The connection between crew tracker functionality and SAM OS has been severed. I need those sensors working. Go get them online and I'll fix up the crew tracker from this end. That's why we don't know where May is from the map. I think that's also in UN3, right? There was a sensory thingy here. Yeah, that we saw before, but we couldn't really work with it. Oh my god, are we on dial-up in space? Sensor calibration locked. Enable sensor power control interface. Do we want it at green? Yeah? Enable sensor calibration test. Spot check system available. Conversion key. Um... Okay, well nothing is green. I don't really... Enable sensor... We just did this. Now what? Maybe we have to find the documentation? Oh, oh, hold on, what was that? Oh, we gotta turn the colors, okay. So we wanna make all the yellow ones into green. And that's how we're gonna fix this. <laughs> Sensor one is online and receiving data. Good work. All right. There's multiple. Oh, we did the one in UN3, but we also need to do the one in UN1 and 6. UN1? Is Emma still here? Yes, she is. I wonder if we can look at these computers. Guidance and navigation. Currently unavailable. Oh my god, I thought that was blood for a second. Life support terminal. Access denied. We can't open it, right? Oh, we can. No biometric data detected. Because it's broken right now. UN Hatch Schematic Technical diagram of the universal hatch door schematic layout. This allows the user to force commands on the equipment in the event of interface failure or testing. Mm. Each arm has a different schematic, even for the same functions. Yeah, now we can go back to UN3 and interact with that hatch, right? Message to Cruiser. Hi everyone. I know a lot of you have been getting head up about requests from Houston and from me that have been butting into your work this past week. I just wanted to say that I'm hearing you all loud and clear, especially Josh as he's been the loudest. I know it's been frustrating, but we're getting to the end of it now. We'll be back on expected ESA practice soon, really soon. You've just got to trust me. When we get through to the other side, I can maybe fill you in on what's been happening. Something's been happening here. Who is this? J.E. How many people are on board in total? 
Decryption Protocol Local comms EAS say static key 1, an encryption key matrix, notes for use. All standard communications between observation and ground control are automatically hardware encrypted and paired. In the event of a breakdown in hardware, or to contact local vessel, such as approaching shuttle, whose encryption hardware has failed, use this key to reconfigure. Each vessel carries the same key and as such, station to craft or Houston communications should still be possible by decrypting with this key, even with hardware failure. Good information to have. I'm sure we'll need it soon enough. Nope. Always good to get these hatch controls. We might want to go back to the one in the UN3 arm too. Yeah, so CN arm means China arm. CN arm. Okay, where is the crew tracker sensor I'm looking for? I don't see it from this view. Is she working on it? Communications terminal. It's good, good. I'm guessing I'm looking for something similar to what we saw in UN3, right? Laptop... So a screen. Oh jeez. That's scary. There's something in the hallway. If we want to check that out later on. Hold on, we are in UN1 right now. Crew tracker sensor, where is this? Am I just not seeing it? Okay, well, you know what? We can go to the one in UN6 first. I feel like I'm missing something really obvious by not seeing this. Hmm. UN6 is here. Kerch straight. Whoa. Things are a little bit hectic here. There has been some movement. The cargo is not really tied down properly. Another laptop here. Really? Now I gotta turn it on. Computers, man. Jim, please, Sam. Confirming that I'm finally powering down the test cycle on the EFR reactor. I know I've been a pain in the ass about this, Jim, but it's been operational for weeks now, and the check routines have taken up so much of my time. This is time I should have spent on USES tech tests, and they are going to be pissed. What was Houston's problem with my results? I just don't understand why we're checking this over and over. Anyway, rant over. Reactor is on standby. Ready for anything. Message end. That almost sounds like Houston knew that this was going to happen. Because the EFR reactor is the backup power, right, for emergencies. So if they're making us check it over and over again, it's like saying, hey... Be prepared for an emergency. Even more than we normally already are. Here we go. Look at this interface here, my goodness. And the pictures are broken. Maybe we're not getting enough power or something. Pink to green. I feel like a uh, tech support. That sensor two online now as well. Nearly there. Sounds good to me. 
Is there anything else around here? Man, can you imagine linking to everything on the station? That would take forever. There's just so many little things here and there. Salute 10. That's the Russian arm. Okay. Let me check out that one laptop before we get out of here. It's on, but I can't quite see the screen. We don't really have a camera that would let us do that either. Strangely enough. Can I really not see that? Seems so. For whatever reason, we can't see that specific screen. Okay, well, not much we can do about that. Let's get back to UN1 then. Oh, you know why? It's because this is UC1. I'm looking for UN1. Yeah, here we go. Did a piece of dust just float by the door? Thought I saw something in the corner of my eye. Now so far, it's been kind of okay again, but this station is so big. If there's people that are alive that we haven't noticed, then I feel like it's definitely possible that there's aliens alive on board. Oh yeah, things are moving here. Okay. I don't know. Houston might be in on this. That's them all online now. I'm almost done here, thanks to you. What if it's like stories untold with um, the ending? Uh, crew tracker is online. Where's my crew, Sam? Locate crew. No? Mm, I'm looking for names on the map here, but I don't see names. Do you just want me to use the sensor right here? Why is it moving so much? No, it doesn't seem like we can use that. So how do you want me to locate crew? Okay, three to one. Might as well look around here while we're at it. To EASA Horizon. Yeah, maybe we don't have to go out of our way to do this, because otherwise, we're just going to be sitting here forever trying to... Oh! Oh, I didn't know I connected to that one already. That scared me. It's so scary and dark in here. Okay, anyway. Locating crew. Emma is here. May should still be in the CN arm. Wen Chang? What? Oh. That's weird. CN1? CN2? I feel like I'm getting a little bit scared here because I don't know what's gonna. <laughs> oh lord. And these hatches we want to get to, because can we open it right now? Offline. It's offline, but we can use a schematic. Hmm. Climatology thesis. Applied climatology for a stellar body observation by Dr. A. Yang. Chinese Climate Initiative, CASA. Summary. This thesis details advanced climate study techniques for application to non-Earth objects, utilizing the advanced technological strides made as a part of the observation mission. 
Through the use of machine learning AI, scope observations and live data can be simulated and explored in real time. So this is how you ended up on the station. Good read, Stas. Yeah, that hatch is open. Was she the only Chinese astronaut here? Crew bunk. CN hatch schematic. Yes, we needed this. Oh, now we can combine the files in my memory core. Here. Not this one. No, these are just audio logs. Climatology thesis? Really? And... CN hatch schematic. Wait, why were those two? Oh. Lost CN arm. Module CN arm. Origin. Originally part of the CASA Chinese Climate Initiative's Shenzhou 12 mission, the repurposed CNR module was the last to be attached to the LOSS in late 2025. Oh, L-O-S-S? -S? Not LOSS. Usage, research into atmospheric conditions and associated changes from an orbital position. Remarks. This module is also of vital importance to international effort to analyze and understand the unprecedented acceleration of climate change since 2020, and to find a way to avoid or delay global catastrophe. This mission is secondary to the overall observation mission, but still of vital importance. And that's Dr. Yang's expertise, isn't it? Scan that already? Can we open this? We would need to unlock it, right? L3. Right 3 down, right 3 up, left 3. Error. Hatch is offline. Oh, so it at least needs to be online for us to use this, but we can't do anything at all for now. Okay. Where are the people then? Oh, we have an entirely new module here, crew tracker. Jim, Elias, Emma Fisher. Stanislav Leonov, the Russian? Josh Ramon, May Morgan, Elsa Yang. Jim is... Please repeat your previous instruction. Use your crew tracker on your SAM OS. Help me find the crew. The tracker for Jim Elias is showing corrupted data. There must be a fault, or a networking issue. Is there any location or medical info? None. I mean, Russian? Russian arm? Captain Jim Elias is <gasps> located in the Russian arm. I am unable to determine his exact location. Okay, is there any biomedical data making it through? What's this? The pyramid thing. There is no biomedical data being received for Captain Jim Elias. Okay, what about Josh? Please tell me you have something on him. Yeah, I think they might be dating. Oh no. The tracker for Josh Ramon is showing a weak connection. Can we get a position on him? Is there any biomedical data showing? I thought it meant weak vital status. There is no biomedical data being received for Josh Ramon. Can we get a position on him? The location of Josh Ramon is unknown. I don't understand. Maybe there is some interference. May, we've got a fix on Jim. He's in the Salyut somewhere. Good. Get him to sort this mess out. Tell him he owes me an explanation. Wait, it looks like your cameras in the Russian arm are offline. Let me get that for you now. But Josh, earlier we got that audio log saying that he... Get a visual on the captain for me, Sam. Where is he? The captain? Yeah, Josh got jettisoned out with UAS-12, right? 
Oh oh. Oh oh. Am I supposed to just be able to see their names on the map here? Because I don't. Oh god. It's a real mess here. No, right now I don't see people. Camera offline. Hmm. Gateway? Where are the people? I don't see the captain anywhere. Can we not do something about this? The cameras in RU6 are failing to initialize. Okay, I can do that now actually. Oh, I'm really scared. Because we already saw that he wasn't in the other ones. That's them online. Oh no. Captain Jim Elias is located in RUS 6. We should be able to access the Russian arm now. Jim, it's Emma. I have your location. I'm heading to you now. He's unconscious. Okay, well, if she's heading over, I probably need to open some hatches for her, but until she asks me, I'm gonna um, scout out around here. No blood, so maybe he just hit his head, hopefully. Enter pin. I don't have the pin. Emma? Emma's here. Oh! There she is. We'll look at the laptops later on. Sam, I can't get in. The hatch control is damaged. Let me think. Can I really not do Get this? In and open this hatch from the other side. One step ahead of ya. The schematic for the Russian hatches is on the laptop. Hurry, Sam. The laptop has a pin. How do I do this then? Can I tell her it has a pin? Uh. Pfft. This is a little bit out of my range as an AI to find, isn't it? I fundamentally can't. Unless if I take the initiative to look around myself. Which I'm more than happy to do, but it's just not really the scope of what you asked me. Oh! Is that upside down? 9338? Or, hmm. How do I? Nine, three, three, eight. Here we go. Message for crew. Whatever happens next, thank you. All of you. I don't mean to be cryptic. Sorry. Oh, the mystery thickens. This guy knew. He was the one that, uh, earlier we got a log and it was saying something like, Oh, I know, I don't mean to be so mysterious, but I can't tell you anything right now. Would it be unlock or open? Open, I guess? Uh, L1? Oh my god, this one's like corrupted and stuff. Okay. One, two, one, two, one. Patch is locked. L3. Captain. Captain. Can you 
Sam out to you, he can wirelessly connect. There's another sphere in RUSO2 next to the airlock. Use that. Oh, Emma. These people are working... Well, you have to be, right? You have to work this well under pressure to be an astronaut. But if it were me, I would be like a crying mess. If I were Emma, I'd be like, May, come find me. I just want to stand next to you. Please don't leave me alone ever again. 